Assalamu alaikum everyone, welcome back to another video. I was just looking at the S&P 500 and trying to find companies that I could potentially add to my portfolio or find companies that are already in my portfolio that didn't do well this year that could potentially be a give me better returns next year. So all I'm doing is now just to look at these companies and find value basically because as a value investor, as a dividend investor, we're trying to find a great companies at discounted price okay and this is what we need to do so today I'm gonna to share with you a couple of companies that I think that could potentially be a great addition to your portfolio or maybe add to it if you've got them already now what you're looking at right now is the performance of the S&P 500 a year to date okay and when you look at this you look at 67 percent 53 percent 35 percent 50%, 50, it's ridiculous. And this is why almost everybody that I speak to will say right now, there is a, there's gonna be some sort of a crash or correction next term. Corrections about 10 to 20%, whatever. Crashes can be a little bit more than that, up to 30%, right? So whatever happens, if you buy in a great company and you know what the company does, and okay, you're not worried about the business side of things, you know the financials are solid and they are a great company, they have a product that's in demand and so on, then you don't have to worry about. Even if a correction happens, 20% correction, 30, 10%, 20%, 30%, whatever it is, what should you do? You should buy more, okay? So today I'm gonna to share with you a couple of companies that I feel like, I think there's five companies that I've narrowed down to that I want you to have a look at first, okay? The first one's Qualcomm. Qualcomm is in my portfolio. It's been in my portfolio for a long time. I've been, done quite a few videos about the business um, so far. So if you're interested, just have a look at some of those videos before. They are in the semiconductor um, sector. One of the dangers about this company, I'm just going to tell you straight away, okay, is the fact that they work with Apple. So a lot of their chips go into mob Apple mobile phones and iPads and whatever. And if Apple decides they're going to create their own, which they can and capable of, okay, then they, they might lose about, say, 20% of their business, okay? Now, having said that, they are now came out and said they're trying to, they're trying to diversify away from Apple so they don't just re basically rely on Apple. This is one of my biggest basically holdings so far. So I think I have about 13 shares or so, okay? And I'm up right now 36%. I've had this stock for a long time and I actually like the business model. A couple of things I'm going to show you is the growth for the next couple of years. So the sales growth, 18% this year, 2022 and 2023, we're looking at about 8%. So to me, 18 and 8%, that's solid business growth, okay, sales growth. Then the overall growth estimates, this year is about 25% then 8% and then 25.6%, almost 26% in the next um, five years per annum. So per annum you're making, basically this is, apart from this year where S&P has gone crazy, okay, this is basically, the growth actually beats the, the S&P 500. Currently, it's trading $108 to $4 per share. The average is about $208. Okay, and as you can see, it's a buy according to Yahoo Finance. When we look at their bit, basically in the last year to date, okay, you can see how quickly, I think I was buying around here, and then all of a sudden it just jumped straight into, um, literally from there, okay, to where it was almost a 53% up from the, basically from the bottom, okay. Now, when we look at, so when you just look at the last six months, you can see about 29%, almost 30%, is up almost 30%, just the, the, the last six months. A year to date, 24, and the whole year is about 24 as well. In the last five years, this business model is actually up 183%. So to be honest with you, yes, this is great, like 26%, but when you look at a year to date, okay, so let's go back here. Let's go back to here. Let me just, year to date, we're looking at about 24%, right? When we go back here and you look at the companies 
like Nvidia, that's up 132%. You've got um, Broadcom, that's over 50% up. Okay, you've got AMD, which is up 67%. And these companies have similar sort of products. Okay, in this situation, this tells me that in terms of Qualcomm is undervalued at the moment. The other thing I'd like to look at is the peg ratio, which tells us in terms of the peg ratios, okay, what you're looking for is a peg ratio lower than one. That means, so peg ratios is basically looking at the PE as well as the estimate, basically growth estimate for this business. If it's below one, then that means the business is going to grow better and obviously it's going to, your returns will be absolutely better, right? And it's cheap right now. That's basically what it means. Now, Qualcomm is below one. The other company that's below one is Micron, which I will talk about in another video coming soon, inshallah. Okay, AMD is not bad. It's just closer to one, which really, really surprises me. But because of the growth of this business, I'm not really surprised. We've got MD, basically NVIDIA, NVIDIA, which is like 2.38. You've got other companies that are quite similar. Look at this, three over three. Some companies are two and so on. But when you look at um, Qualcomm, it's actually quite low. Now, the other thing I want to show you is what other analysts are saying. And this is um, tip ranks. And they say $197 per share. That's basically what they expect. It's a moderate buy at the moment. A lot of the analysts that are looking at this stock are basically saying it's got upside about 12%, 19%, downside of 5%, and so on, so on. Okay, so a lot of them actually have more or less agreed um, that it will it has a more upside than actually downside. But at the same time, it's currently trading 184, but they expect it. So that's about seven, almost a seven percent growth. Okay. The next one is the simply Wall Street, and they think is undervalued by 0.2. So it's not bad, not bad at all. And finally, it's Morningstar. So Morningstar is saying fair value should be 163. So at the moment, they've given it three stars, which means a fair valued um, stock, fairly valued. Um, and they've given it a narrow, obviously, um, moat which then means basically there's quite a few companies that are doing similar sort of a thing, okay? They don't have a competitive advantage over their competitors. Basically, that's what it means, okay? So again, this is in my portfolio, like I said already, it's a great company. I actually love the business model. They are growing their business model. They are growing their basically top line and bottom line. So if you look at it from 2018, $22 billion to now $33 billion. And when you look at their net income, okay, from minus 4.8 billion to now $9 billion. And they have a bit of a free cash flow where they can pay their dividend. I say a bit, they've got $8.6 billion in the bank to pay that dividends. I think the dividends is about, I think it's about over 2% or 1% something. There you go, 2.7%, no, 1.6%. And they pay you $2.72 per share that you own of this business. So great, really business. I like the business. I'm. I'm definitely going to add to it in the next couple of months, okay, here and there, wherever I see it, maybe let it drop. And if the stock market generally drops 10, 15% is one of the companies that I will be focusing on more, definitely. Right, the next company that has done absolutely nothing this year is Visa. Visa had had so many different troubles um, this year. Um, the main one being really the situation with Amazon and in the UK and so on. And I don't think that's going to stay there forever. It's definitely going to change. I do own the business, um, obviously shares in this business. So I definitely like the business. But when you look at this, look, zero, literally zero growth this year. I've done absolutely nothing. It went up as high as $250 per share and then went down about 13% from that high. Okay. Now, the business, obviously, I don't have to explain that to you, but when we look at the market cap of this business, $473 billion company, okay? When we look at the analysts and what they're predicting in terms of sales in the next couple of years, you're looking at about 17% and then 14%. And then you're looking at 19, 19, and 17% in the next seven years, in the next five years. When you look at their um, recommendations, Yahoo Finance, they're saying is 1.7, which is a basically almost a strong buy, and $273 per share. That's basically what it should be right now, okay? The other thing we looked at for um, 
we can look at in, this, in terms of their peg ratio is closer to one. It's not below one yet, but for the last five years, the expect um, is basically below one. And now profit margin of 51% and return on equity of 33%. That's amazing. Honestly, that 50% mar profit margin. Okay, and then this is the, one of the reasons why I love this business. Okay, if you go to their top line, when you look at their tw basically 2018, you've been getting about, they've made about $20 billion or so 20.6 20 20, um, billion to right now 24. Okay, so that's about 4 billion um, growth in terms of it. But when you look at their net income, okay, you're looking at about 12 billion. So they're making, basically they're taking home half of the money they're making. In terms of cash, they've got about $14.5 billion. And they pay very, very small dividend. They buy back their shares as well. Okay, so the repair, um, repayment of debt, they buy back their shares. So great business that's already paying back their, you know, some of the debt. They're buying back their shares. They're giving you a small dividend. And they are undervalued at the moment. Okay, according to Yahoo um, and Morningstar, in case you can see it's fair valued at the moment so it should be about 221 it's currently 218 dollars per share when we look at um tip ranks it's 273 dollars per share currently 218 when we look at um here as well as um, simply wall street it's about 19 about nine percent undervalued at the moment so great business. I absolutely adore this business. I love it. I've got, just to be transparent, I have 10 shares and right now up about 2%. Okay. And that's the second, and that's the second company. Right. The next company we're going to talk about is VF Corporations. And this is the company that owns Timpland. They own Supreme. They own Vans. They North Face. All of these company products. So let me quickly show you a thing there in their description. Um, they do own a lot of different, they own a lot of different companies that you probably wouldn't have actually. So it provides, so they own the North Face, Timbaland, Smart Walls, um, Icebreakers. Some of these I've never even heard of. Vans, Supreme, I've heard them. Okay, Dickies as well, Timbaland. So they don't, they own a lot of different um, brand names. Okay, so it's a kind of almost a luxury um, brands basically. Okay, now the stocks right now trading 70 one dollars per share the PE is slightly high um, of 22 and then they've got beta that's quite high as well so in terms of their analyst and what they expect in in the next few years okay so in terms of revenue you're looking about 30 percent this uh, next year 2022 and 2023 we're looking about eight percent which is solid okay and in terms of growth we're looking about this year 142 percent next year 17 percent next five years 45 percent and this is one of the reasons i'm investing in this business okay you want a business that's growing in terms of top line bottom line and obviously there's some sort of expectations that the business is growing this is just expectations this might or might not happen because remember this is based on what the analyst is thinking about right but majority of the time they're right 45 percent if you can get even half of that that's perfect okay and when you look at their recommendations they're saying currently the price should be a hundred, you know, eighty-six dollars per share instead of seventy-one dollars per share. So it's a little bit undervalued in, in terms of that. Um, when we look at their morning start, for example, morning start is fair valued at the moment, so they're expecting it to be sixty-six dollars per share. But it's right now it's slightly above that, about five dollars or whatever. Um, but it's still un fair valued. Okay. Um, when we look at the um, tip ranks is exactly the same so 19 percent undervalued at the moment okay is a moderate buy and when you look at um simply wall street you basically they're saying about 24 percent undervalued at the moment so is a business model that's growing it looks like the financials look healthy okay they do pay some dividends so we're going to go to the cash flow first and see if they've got enough so they've got about a million dollars in the bank to pay that off Okay, these companies, they burn so much money, so I wouldn't expect a lot of their net income. So they keep about $1.2 billion, $1 billion of that after they pay taxes and all that stuff. So they're making about 10, okay, cost of five, and then gross profit of about five or just about six. And then out of that, they just, after they pay all the taxes, okay, because they own so many properties and this and that, 
they do have a lot more assets so when we look at the assets here you will definitely see that should be enough so they got 4.7 current um, assets against current liabilities of let me just see two okay so they ha do have enough to pay off their liabilities in the next 12 months and so so it's a great business model i actually like the business i have shares of i think 10 shares there we go up about two percent so i'm planning to add to this business because right now when you look at this is the surprising part right so in the last year to date right is down about almost 16 percent so the price at one point was about 90 dollars per share right now it's only 71 dollars per share so this is one of the reasons I actually want to buy a bit more of this business and add to it in the next uh, couple of months because it seems undervalued um, even though the PE is slightly high so 23 but I still think it's undervalued and if you look at the basic the peg ratio in fact I haven't even looked at the peg ratio yet let's have a look wow see this is the reasons now the peg ratio I said to you before it looks at the growth of the business okay and it looks at the earnings so the growth of the the estimated growth against the basic where the company is at the moment and you can see anything below one is undervalued and that is great because this company is growing about 50 percent whatever next 45 percent next five years but the peg ratio is low this is really good i'm glad i looked at this as well so the next one we're going to look at is activision blizzard this company is the company that basically sells all sorts of different gamings and um, they are in the gaming industry so um, let me quickly show you some of the go games that they own which actually surprised me when i started doing the first time the research i found out there was so many different games that was so popular that i actually didn't think they i didn't know who owned those games but they apparently they do so as you can see here they own franchises like the call of duty world of warcraft the diablos and um, Overwatch and Candy Crush. I didn't know they own Candy Crush. Okay, so they own a loads of different companies, um, different products that are very, very popular with young people, even including my son. He actually pl plays these games and he loves it. The company is really down at the moment uh, because there's a situation going on with the CEO and the business and all. The business model hasn't changed. The only thing that happened is there's been a delay for one of the games. Um, so therefore, since the beginning of the year, it's actually down now almost to 25%. At one point, this was trading over $100 per share. And right now, it's only $66 per share. And according to... So if we look at their growth side of things, so if you look at the analyst and you look at their next sales growth, it's about 3% and 3.5%. This The reason for this is because of the delays to certain games. They said 2023 is the first time they're going to release those games because there's been a bit of a delay. That's only 12 months away. I'm not bothered. I'm not worried about that. I'm going to keep it and so on. So next year, the growth is almost non-existent. But the year after that, so you're looking about 13%. Okay, so you're looking about 13% growth of the business as well as obviously price appreciation. Hopefully, if it goes that direction. If we look at quickly the how overvalued and valued this is, according to Morningstar, it's four stars right now. The price should be about $94 per share, but right now it's $66 per share. According to tip ranks, again, it's down about 33% upside. And when we look at the um, Simply Wall Street, it's only about 6%. So it's a great business model. I actually like it. I own, I think, about 15 shares of this business. And it's one of the business that I will probably be adding to in the next couple of months as t time goes. Because the price is, you know, stock's taking a beating for now. If the CEO goes and things start improving, but 2023, it could be a great year. You could be looking about 100 or plus um dollars per share so i'm gonna take a bet and see what happens and the final company that we're gonna look at is 3m 3m basically is the company that operates in four different um, business segments um, including safety um, safety industrials transportation and electronics um, healthcare and consumer now this is one of those businesses where they literally sell everything if, if you go ever go to a warehouse or you know one of those um, home base or whatever those shops 
you will find a product that this company sells, okay? They sell almost everything from the masks that we wear, those through basically N95, whatever it's called, masks and so on. They have so many different products. They've been around for a long, long time. Um, quickly, just wanna show you the, what the analyst is expecting. I do own the business, basically shares in this business. Um, in fact, before we do that, let me show you what is done in the last year to date, for example. It's done absolutely nothing, just 3% this year. Okay, at one point it was up quite a bit, so $207 per share, um, but that's about £30, whatever, dollars, um, minus, the, so basically almost like $30 down from where it was, and um, almost about, when was this? Uh, May, May of last year up until now, is down about, down about 14%, basically. And this is one of the things um, I've, I've been watching this business. I like the dividends. It's a great business. There's no way on earth I'm going to sell, but I haven't actually added to it this year. So I feel like I kind of neglected the business. And when you look at the PE ratio of only 17, that's brilliant. For me, that, that means I'm definitely going to buy more of this business. Um, absolutely. Let's see what happens in the next couple of months. But anyway, let's look at the sales, for example. Eight, almost 10% and then 3%. Again, these are the slow growers, okay? So they don't grow fast enough. They're not like 20, 30% zone, just the slow growers. And then in the next couple of years, you're looking at this year about 12%, 5%, and then 7 or 8% in the next couple of years. That's To me, that's solid, okay? That's solid 8%. This is over 100 year company and still growing the business model and still doing a lot of research and development because they are in the healthcare, they are in the consumer side of it. So they are still doing a lot of research in basically investing in that side of things. Um, the pr price is right now $177 per share, but obviously the expectation for the next couple of whatever is the, um, $187 per share. That's according to Yahoo Finance. When we look at Morningstar, is fair valued at the moment because you can see is 187 and right now is 177 dollars per share when we look at tip rank again upside of five percent still down and when we look at morning um simply wall street okay they're expecting the price to be 240 dollars per share but currently trading 277 so it's, that's about 26 um, percent over um, undervalued and when you look at the growth as well you're looking about four percent five percent according to this company as well and the final thing i want to show you is how safe their dividend is just to make sure that this business is obviously going to, not going to run out that's 75 percent we're looking for about 61 or below um, they don't grow their dividend that quickly but they pay you four dollars i think it's for about four dollars per every share that you own right now i own about 15 shares and that's paying me 88 dollars per year um, that's basically what you see there and there you go i own 15 shares it's up about four percent at one point it was up almost to ten percent but it came back down so this is one of the reasons i'm looking at basically i was thinking about this the other day but i might be taking the money out of M emerson electric and add it to 3m i don't know i haven't made that decision yet because they're both in this kind of similar industries they're both industrials and this one is growing but i don't know if i have a high conviction on this company we'll see we'll see how it goes but yeah that is the basically what i wanted to share with you guys today in fact i want to mention one more other company okay the, the other company that i want to mention is lowe's and i'm going to very quickly show you now i'm definitely adding to this but it's a little bit overvalued let me quickly show you Right, so the first thing we're going to look at when it comes to lows, okay, it's definitely not undervalued a lot right now, and I'll tell you in a second, right? But when you look at the analyst, and you're looking at about 6% and then 1% the following year, so that's not a lot of growth in terms of sales side of things, but in terms of the overall business, you're looking at the growth rate, okay, growth estimates, you're looking at about 35% this year, the next year 8% and then 16%. So that to me is a solid. When you look at the Yahoo Finance and they're what they're expecting, the price should be about $274 per share. That's what they're saying, but right now $250. So that's about $20 and about $18 difference, right? Um, and the other thing I want to show you is when you go to statistics and you look at the peg ratio, it's not that high. So it's about closer to one. Again, P ratio of about 21.5, okay? Not bad at all. Then you look at their profit margins, almost double digits, and then you look at the return on equity, which is absolutely crazy, okay? 
I actually love this business model. I, it's a home improvement. Everyone needs this. It's one of those cyclicals like it, people don't have to renovate their houses every couple of years, but the business model is solid and you get a very good dividend while you're holding this business. Okay, when we, It's definitely not cheap at the moment. And like I said, it's up so much this year. I wish I bought more. At, from, at the early stage like when i was buying this stock right now at the time it was 168 dollars per share right now we're looking at 254 so i wish i bought more at that time okay it's up almost now 50 something percent almost 400 pounds extra that basically i've made on this just one stock now i feel like i've neglected it i want to buy more so that's why what i'm going to do is instead of buying like two shares three shares in one go i'm just gonna buy a little bit i'm gonna dollar cost average okay so if you look at morningstar is really overvalued if you look at um tip ranks it's about 10 percent undervalued if you look at um this bit as well it's slightly overvalued simply wall street the dividend is absolutely safe so I'm not saying I'm going to buy 10 shares or whatever, but I'm going to every week or every other week, I might just buy half a share, 10 pounds, 20 pounds, 30 pounds. So like a I will average up, but because I'm dollar cost average and when it goes down, say imagine there's a little bit of correction, it goes down about 5% or whatever, I'll buy more and then it goes back up and then I'll buy a little bit more. So it kind of averages out overall. So that's one of the, th the the final company that I want to talk about today. There's loads of different companies that I can talk about, to be honest with you, but that are undervalued and all that stuff. But the video is already 26 minutes long. So I hope you, if you're still watching this, thank you so much. Just give me a thumbs up if you're still watching it, if you st lasted this long. Thank you so much. Enjoy your day. Assalamu alaikum.